it's me and today I am talking about January music releases. I will be talking about the ones that I'm interested in, obviously. So don't come yelling at me for like, how dare you include that song? Because it wasn't on my radar. I am very much like interested in a couple of artists and I just listen to those artists unless someone else makes me listen to something else. So I'm sorry. But if you have any music suggestions based on any of the songs I'm talking about today, leave them in the comments section below because I love exploring new music. I just don't do it often because time. Also, just quickly want to give like the warning that I am not, I don't really know much about music. I am just <coughs> making this video as a fangirl and just talking about my personal opinions and it's not gonna be like very much in-depth musical theory like this is why this is good just gonna be like I like this song because I like it or I don't like this song because I don't like it that's just how simple it's gonna be also I'm just gonna talk about songs that were released this month for albums I usually do separate videos and if I would ever if I would ever come on an album that I would listen to I would not make a video about I will briefly mention it but just thought you know it so but at the end of this video, I just want to mention that Where by Selena Gomez came out in January, which I did already did a full album reaction to, which I'll leave linked down below. As well as Walls by Louis Thomason, which just came out on the last day of the month. So I haven't had the time to listen to it yet, but I will be making an entire video about it. Which I, probably, I might film right after this one or not. I don't really know yet when I'm going to film it. But it will be the next video after this one. And for that reason, I'm also not talking about the song Walls by Louis Tomlinson today because I just want to experience that together with the album instead of separately. I know that makes sense but yeah. So that just leaves me with four songs to talk about which is Diamonds by Megan Thee Stallion and Armani, What a Man Gotta Do by the Jonas Brothers, Anyone by Demi Lovato and Only the Young by Taylor Swift. So yeah if you want to know my specific thoughts on a certain song Timestamps will be in the description down below as well, so you can just click around to see what you're interested in the most. And like I said before, if you want me to check out other artists, other songs, let me know in the below. <laughs> let me know in the down below because I love exploring new music. It's just that it's very time consuming and I never know where to start, so I just don't do it. Also, because I don't care about consistency, I'm putting on my glasses right now. The real reason is that I forgot. But yeah, these are also very foggy. Okay, that's better. Let's actually just get started with the song reviews. The first one is gonna be Diamonds by Meg Megan Thee Stallion and Omani, which is of the Birds of Prey soundtrack. <laughs> biggest fan of this song but that's because it just is a type of song that I usually don't like so I feel like I can't really criticize the song too much but yeah I personally don't really like it because it just it's not my style of song but I can't comment on the music video which I really liked I think <laughs> it incorporated like the aesthetics of the movie at least from what we've seen so far very well and it just did it in a fun way and I feel like often movie soundtrack songs like the music video is just like overflooded with just like random scenes from the movie that just don't make sense but I feel like here like moments from the movie or like things related to the movie were very sparse and when it did it did connect in a way with the music video but yeah the song itself is just not for me and there's nothing wrong with that everybody has different tastes the next song I'm gonna talk about today is What a Man Gotta Do by the Jonas Waters I kind of, I don't know how to feel about the song because they just released an album. I know it's been a while, but like, still, it, they very recently released an album and they did three singles of that album and now they're already moving on to new music, which I don't know yet how I feel about that because it just seems like it's done very quickly, but at the same time, who knows? <laughs> So, 
I need to tell you something before I start talking about this song is that my mom heard this song on the radio the other day and she talked to me about it and she said that it sounded very reminiscent of a One Direction song and like she's white <laughs> like oh my god this sounds so much like a One Direction song to which is not even like the good One Direction songs just like you know the very catchy pop songs with not really that much depth in them it sounds like that which is the best compliment and this is coming from a One Direction fan <laughs> so yeah I don't know how to feel this one again I feel like it sounds very generic and yeah like this is what I'm sorry but so last decade like it sounds dated not in a good way Next song. Oh no, I'm not ready for the next song. Damn it, I hate my life. Okay, so the next song I'm gonna talk about is Anyone by Demi Lovato, which I'm not ready for. Like, I know how good one Chena's song is gonna be, and I am not ready for it, but I, I need to do this, okay? I just need to. <laughs> thinking about it again I'm starting to tune up again and I think I can talk about this song in a proper way without crying obviously oh my god this is so difficult why did I decide to do this video oh my god honestly the last time song hit me that's hard it was sober by Demi Lovato so this should, should I come as a shock oh my god <laughs> I don't think I need to talk about this song just based on the fact that I can't talk it should, it's, it should stay in love yeah I'm just I'm gonna need to move on I don't want to but we're gonna have to okay La last and uh, next song for this video is gonna be only the on by Taylor Swift, which is from her documentary, Miss Americana. It's an unreleased song until now. And yeah, I watched Miss Americana last night. Well, last night for filming it, so I watched it on the day it came out. So I've heard a bit of the song yet already because in the documentary we saw her like working on the song. And I'm actually very excited about it. So yeah, it's also not going to be the easiest song to listen to because I know it's very politically charged, but still. Okay, editing me here to <laughs> just quickly talk about Only The Young because the footage of me reacting to that song originally just, I was very emotional after anyone and it crumpled through into Only The Young and I just was an emotional mess talking about politics and even though, I mean, I don't mind talking about politics, I just, the way I did it I feel like wasn't really the best because I was so emotional so decided to talk to you about it now only the young obviously by the fact that I have to cut out a bit inspired a lot in me and I feel like that's the purpose of the song to motivate the young to keep fighting and not give up even though you know politics seem to go away nowadays and not how we want it to go and not how it should go and just a lot of things are happening and yeah it's very demotivational for my generation and I feel like especially this is also a thing I talk about then but 
I was an emotional mess, I'm saying it again now. I feel like a lot of teens nowadays are standing up. Like Greta Thunberg, great example of what I'm about to say. Like She's standing up and saying like, yo, what the politics is doing, not correct. And it's my future, so I want to have something to say about it. And so many people are just angry at her. Not because they disagree with her beliefs, but because she's a teen and she should shut up. And she should be in school. I'm just like... I just don't get why we're not putting value into the political views of the younger generation. Because it's it's our future. It's We're going to have to live with your decision. So at least don't dismiss us when we have something to say about it. Because, you know, we're, we're going to have to live with it. And I like that Dale Swift directed the song at the younger generation to encourage them to keep fighting. And, yeah, I really like this song. Let's get back to regular programming. <laughs> so, those were my reactions to these songs. My favorites, definitely, anyone and only Dion. They obviously evoked very much in me. And the other two were kind of disappointing, in my opinion. So, yeah. If you... Let me know your opinions on these songs in the comments down below. And, like I said before, recommend me some new music as well. And, I guess, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Here